Victory in the upcoming race to the moon is the ultimate goal that every organization hopes to achieve. However, this competition has become more intense than ever, with several strong players entering the field. In theory, SpaceX is currently leading the race in terms of schedule, yet many still question whether they can truly meet their ambitious goals. But in times like these, SpaceX has always taken bold and unconventional steps. One clear example is the way they're upgrading and expanding their production system to secure not only their own success, but also a decisive victory for the United States on the lunar frontier. So how exactly is SpaceX preparing for its moon program? And how are these upgrades giving them a major advantage over their competitors? Let's explore the answer on today's episode of Great SpaceX. As we enter the final months of 2025, the race to return humanity to the moon is reaching a critical stage. The competition is fierce, with several nations and companies working tirelessly to achieve the next great leap in space exploration. For the US, the upcoming return to the lunar surface will be marked by the historic Artemis III mission, which will rely on SpaceX's Starship Human Landing System, or HLS. This will be followed by additional missions that include future versions of the HLS and Blue Origin's Lunar Lander. Meanwhile, on the other side of the globe, China is moving ahead with its own plans to send astronauts to the moon using two separate rockets, one carrying the spacecraft and another carrying the Lunar Lander. When comparing timelines, Artemis III appears to be leading the race. However, that that advantage comes with challenges that have made the mission's schedule uncertain. Among those challenges, the development of SpaceX's orbital refilling system stands out as one of the most complex hurdles. It requires not only a series of successful in-space demonstrations, but also the construction of numerous Starship prototypes to perfect the process. Despite these challenges, SpaceX continues to move forward with impressive speed. The company's relentless drive to innovate and scale its operations is evident across every aspect of its work, especially in its production systems. The opening of the Star Factory, for example, has marked the beginning of a new era in Starship manufacturing. Inside this massive facility, SpaceX has already demonstrated its ability to produce large quantities of components such as nose cones, tanks, and ring sections. These advancements are essential as the company prepares for the mass production needed to support refueling missions and beyond. However, production cannot end with just the creation of parts. Every piece must come together through a stacking process that forms a fully integrated Starship. This is where one of SpaceX's newest and most ambitious projects, the Gigabay, comes into play. The Gigabay has been in planning since the start of the year, with sites under development both at Starbase in Texas and at Cape Canaveral in Florida. At Starbase, construction began with groundwork and foundation work, which has now been completed. The next phase, building upward, has already started. Recently, SpaceX used a crane to lift a massive steel frame into position at the Gigabay site, signaling the beginning of the main structural build. The design of these steel frames suggests that SpaceX might be using a new construction approach. Each frame resembles a modular tower section that can be raised vertically to support a crane system. This crane system will have long horizontal arms attached to a movable base module. The design allows the base module to slide upward as new tower sections are added beneath it, enabling construction to continue higher without needing multiple cranes of different sizes. Such a system provides significant advantages. It offers nearly unlimited height potential, minimizes the need for additional heavy equipment, and allows construction to progress much faster. For a building as large as Gigabay, which is expected to reach approximately 160 16 meters in height, with even greater width and depth, this approach could be a game changer. It not only saves time, but also lays the groundwork for even larger structures that SpaceX may build in the future. Of course, there's still a possibility that the steel frame we have seen serves as part of the main structural skeleton of Gigabay itself rather than a construction support system. If that's the case, we can expect more of these steel sections to appear soon as SpaceX continues assembling the building piece by piece. Either way, one thing is clear. The construction of the primary structure has officially begun, marking a major step forward in the Starship program's infrastructure expansion. Based on current progress and comparisons with previous projects like the Megabay, Gigabay could reach completion by the end of next year. However, given SpaceX's growing experience and efficiency, it's possible that the facility
capability could be operational as early as mid-2026. Once completed, Gigabay will serve as the cornerstone for SpaceX's next phase of development. Its enormous size will allow for assembly of up to 10 or even 20 Starship and Super Heavy prototypes simultaneously. This represents a significant leap compared to the Megabay, which can currently house only four or five vehicles at a time. Such capacity will be essential for achieving SpaceX's ambitious refueling goals. Early next year, the company aims to prove key milestones such as orbital insertion, payload deployment, and the successful landing of both stages. Once those objectives are met, the focus will shift toward building and demonstrating the in-space refilling system that'll make lunar and interplanetary missions possible. To accomplish this, a large and steady production rate of starships will be required, both for tankers and for test vehicles. The increased height of the upcoming Starship V3 version, combined with the volume of vehicles that must be produced, makes Gigabay a crucial piece of the puzzle. Its enhanced capacity will enable SpaceX to rapidly construct, test, and iterate new designs without the bottlenecks seen in earlier years. Many in the aerospace community have questioned whether the refilling system is truly achievable within such a short time frame. But the rapid development of Gigabay suggests that SpaceX is not only aware of the challenge, but also actively addressing it through strategic scaling. Ultimately, the success of Gigabay could determine whether Starship's path to the moon remains on schedule. With its completion, SpaceX will gain the manufacturing muscle necessary to produce fleets of Starships, vehicles that will not only serve lunar missions, but also pave the way for Mars exploration and beyond. So, what do you think? Will the rapid progress of Gigabay become the decisive factor in SpaceX's journey to the moon and Mars? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Is Gigabay the key to Starship's next great leap? Beyond the Gigabay and the production system, SpaceX is continuing its efforts to upgrade several other critical facilities. One of the most notable examples is the Massey test site, which is quickly recovering after the mid-year incident that temporarily disrupted operations. The site is now showing clear signs of revival, beginning with the installation of two new cryogenic test stands. These additions mark the first step toward restoring Massey's testing capacity and may soon be followed by the return of static fire systems. Once reactivated, these systems will play a vital role in supporting SpaceX's increasing testing frequency, a key factor in the company's push for faster development cycles. In addition, Massey is already hosting a series of test tank evaluations. These are not routine tests. They are crucial preparations for the upcoming V3 prototype which represents the next significant leap in Starship's evolution. The V3 version will make its debut with Flight 12, ushering in a new and even more dynamic era for the program. With stronger materials, improved design efficiency, and enhanced performance, the V3 Starship is expected to be a central figure in the future moon missions under NASA's Artemis program. Meanwhile, progress is also advancing on the launch infrastructure side. At Starbase, Pad 2 is steadily nearing completion. Its upgraded OLM and newly designed Flame Trench have been engineered for long-term operation, capable of handling the next generation of Starship vehicles. Pad 1 is also slated for a significant transformation in the near future, ensuring both pads are capable of supporting an increased launch cadence. These upgrades will allow SpaceX to perform launches more frequently, safely, and efficiently, reinforcing its readiness for future lunar missions. In parallel, SpaceX's expansion in Florida is accelerating. The company is developing a powerful new operational hub there, beginning with the launch infrastructure at LC-39A, followed by additional platforms at SLC-37. Along with that, new production and testing facilities, including the planned Gigabay Florida, will rise to support this growing network. Compared to Starbase, these systems in Florida could play an even greater role in the moon race as they are closely tied to NASA's oversight and mission coordination. This expansion not only strengthens SpaceX's operational capacity, but also strategically positions the company at the heart of America's renewed journey to the lunar surface. SpaceX's remarkable upgrades to the Starship program are paving the way toward a future where the company could truly leave its competitors far behind. When we look at Blue Origin, we often see pristine facilities and carefully crafted presentations. However, their internal progress remains unclear, creating an air of mystery and uncertainty. For years, they have struggled with limited hardware availability for flights, which has slowed their momentum. 
Even now, that pace has not shown significant improvement. Although they have demonstrated prototypes in their last two flights, it's uncertain whether they can maintain readiness as the tempo of launches continues to increase. The situation is further complicated by their responsibility to supply BE-4 engines for ULA's Vulcan rocket, which divides resources and focus. As a result, Blue Origin has only managed to launch one orbital mission so far. This lack of consistent progress puts them at a disadvantage in the moon race, especially when compared to SpaceX's constant cycle of testing, iteration, and rapid advancement. Meanwhile, China stands as a broader strategic rival to both SpaceX and the United States in the race to the lunar surface. On paper, China's progress in space technology appears steady, supported by strong government backing and growing ambitions. Their production and testing capabilities are substantial, and their plans are carried out with precision and long-term vision. However, when compared to the efficiency and speed of SpaceX's Starship program, China still lags behind. China's state-built rockets remain largely traditional in design, complex, costly, and non-reusable. Although new private companies have emerged, many of their rockets appear to imitate designs from SpaceX and other leading firms, showcasing a shortage of originality and technological independence. This tendency to replicate rather than innovate undermines their potential for rapid breakthroughs. In the long-term lunar race, these limitations are becoming more evident. While China has the resources and determination to continue pushing forward, SpaceX's agile approach, technological superiority, and relentless testing culture make it difficult for any competitor to match their pace. The gap between them is widening, and unless others can innovate just as rapidly, SpaceX's lead may soon become insurmountable. In summary, SpaceX is steadily advancing toward a future where it'll likely continue to surpass all of its competitors. SpaceX's ongoing upgrades in production, testing, and launch systems, along with improvements to Starship itself highlights steady progress toward building a fleet capable of sustained missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Yet true success will depend on flight performance. Preparation alone is not enough. Precision, reliability, and flawless execution in each mission will define victory. Even a single mistake could alter SpaceX's trajectory in the race for space dominance. As infrastructure and systems evolve, every launch and design refinement will shape the outcome of this new space era. The months ahead will be pivotal as SpaceX works to stabilize Starship and perfect its refilling system for deep space missions. The world now watches closely to see if space can once again prove its unmatched leadership among the stars. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.